Hi, I'm Dr. Mike Zalbin, and today I'm going to be discussing a number of topics with you, all centered around one key concept, and that concept is healing. A healer is anybody who's had an illness, an injury, a disease, and has overcome it, has healed from it. That is a healer. There isn't a specific group of people called healers, although there are a group of people who who understand certain principles about healing and bring that into their practice. You know, they're, they're, healers can be in the medical profession, dental profession, chiropractic profession. They can be in, healers can be in any profession. And how do you know you've found one? Uh, because you begin to change as a, as a person. Your life begins to change as a result of the treatment. And, and this isn't, um, this isn't witchcraft. It's not magic. It's, natural. It is natural for a human being to heal. It is, it is in our DNA. We're programmed to heal, to grow, to expand our consciousness, to, to, um, to realize our dreams. This is all in our DNA. There's one key difference between a healer and a doctor. A doctor will oftentimes go after what he or she thinks needs to be gone after, you know, based on a patient's symptoms, based on a patient's complaints. They then begin to chase them down, chase this complaint, chase that complaint, chase symptom chasing. You're never going to get anybody better in the long term if you're going to chase a symptom. So what does a healer do? A healer, as specifically a chiropractic healer, will always listen to the body and go where directed by the nervous system. The nervous system will always tell the chiropractor where to go, what to do, how to do it. Um, the chiropractor just has to be open. The chiropractor has to have the ears to hear it and the eyes to see it. So this is what I have developed, those eyes and ears to hear and see where a patient's body wants me to go. I've developed this for years. I always try to meet the patient where they're at. Typically it's a body pain. And then um, the worse the pain, uh, the more trust they have in me because they know I helped them. They know I helped them. And once they know I helped them, then they will begin to listen to me and open up to the fact that it is the nervous system uh, divided up into six zones that, uh, that can determine a person's health and or disease. A zone is comprised of a brain center that controls the function of the heart, the blood vessels, the exchange of the gases in the lungs. So we target the part of the nervous system that controls circulation. We do not target circulation. That's what a cardiologist would do or a circulatory specialist would do. They would focus on that system. We do not. We focus on the part of the nervous system that controls the functioning and the maintenance and the well-being of those tissues, of those systems. So that's the big difference between treating a, treating a symptom and it's a big difference between treating a symptom and treating the cause. I remember a gal recently, um, she, was, cr she cried on her first visit because she had been suffering from back pain for over a year and she spent a tremendous amount of money on medical doctors, on, on chiropractors, on, on acupuncturists, on, and no one could help her back pain. Well. We checked out her zones, you know, found the imbalance, cleared it. In one month's time, her pain was gone. She, again, she could not believe it. And I told her point blank, it will not come back because we are addressing truly the underlying cause. A lot of uh, chiropractors don't want to hear this. A lot of people in my profession don't want to hear this because... 
they fear a lack of return business. You know, if you get someone well, they don't come back, so on and so forth. It's incorrect logic. It's not, it's, 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 it's incorrect to think this way. Um, I want to get people the best result I can get them in the shortest amount of time I can get it to them with the least amount of money out of pocket. If you've been fighting a condition or you've been struggling healing something, there is hope. I can help. Together, we can heal anything. Thank you.